Hello guys, now we are going to talk about solver function in Excel and to illustrate that let's take an example and see how we can use the solver function. Now let's talk about cost optimization and what I mean by cost optimization is minimizing the cost. So consider that you have customers and you are running a business, you have customers and you have warehouses so that you are make a fulfillment for each customer from your warehouses. So consider that you have six customers here. If you notice here, we have six customers from one through six and each customer has his own orders quantity. So customer one has 15,000, customer two 32,000, three 75 and so on. And also we have four warehouses in our business. Each, house, each warehouse has his own stock available and I need to uh, make a fulfillment for each customer from the warehouses. The cost per unit for each item for each customer from each warehouse is as follows. So for example, if I ship an item from warehouse one to customer one, that would cost me two and a half dollars. And if I ship an item from warehouse three to customer five, that will cost me $8.59 and so on. So I have the cost per unit for each, for each warehouse, for each customer. So what I need to do is make the best optimization, cost optimization to minimize the cost. So for example, maybe I ship the total amount, the 15,000 from warehouse two or from warehouse three or from warehouse one. So I don't know how I can solve that. So to do this, we are going to use solver function. But first, let's arrange our uh, business table here. Let's take this one, the customer. And we have also the warehouses. And here we have the total. And also here we have the total. Now, notice here that, for example, also he here we have the available stock. And here we have the total cost. Now, consider that in the warehouse one, we have 60,000, just for uh, our example purposes. And warehouse two, we have 55,000. Here we have 50,000. And here we have 75,000, okay? And here's the total. It should be the total amount for this one. And also the same here, the total for that. Now here, the customer one, the total amount for this one, it should be 15,000. So the customer one, I make an item. So for example, 10,000 from warehouse one, uh, 2,000 from warehouse two, 2,000 from three, and 1,000 from four. The total will be 15,000. And also the total will be 32,000. This is as a customer one orders, but for the warehouse one, the total amount should be 60,000 or less. That depends on the quantity here. So I have 234 orders. It should be fulfilled by this one, this number. So here we have approximate 240,000. So I can match the orders. Here the total cost. So the total cost, for example, I order, I shipped 100 item here from warehouse one. So the total cost should be 100 multiplied by two and a half. And for example, here 300. So it should be 300 multiplied by five. And the number here multiplied by seven, number here multiplied by six and a half, and so on. So that's how we get our total cost. So for that, let's type a uh, uh, equation here, which is some product. I need to multiply a array or a table by a table. So the first array here, it should be the cost per unit. And the next array or the next table, it should be the orders or the unit here. All right, let's delete that. 
Now, this is the total cost. Now, what I need to do is solving our uh, problem here instead of trial and error by trying here 1000, here 2000, and this will take a lot of time. And instead, we'll try or we will use solver function. Now, let's go to data ribbon here and choose the solver. And if you don't have the, the solver function, just install it, go to file, and then option here. From option, go to add ins. And from add-ins, here from Manage Excel add-ins, just to click Go. And you will find this solver add-in here. Just to check it, press OK. Okay. Now let's get back to our data ribbon and press Solver. Okay. Now I need to just delete this one and start from scratch. Now here, what I need to do... This is our target since I'm making cost optimization. So this is our target cell. I need this table, this cell. It will be the minimum amount of best solution. So the target, the objective, the set objective or the target, it should be this one, okay? This, it should be the total cost. And by minimizing, now that depends on your business issues. Since here we are talking about cost optimization or minimizing cost so i need to choose the min for example maybe you are going to look for max or value of but here i'm looking for minimizing the cost so let's choose this one by changing the values here so i need to change the table here the quantity ordered okay so i need the target cost by changing this one now let's add our condition and let Excel solve our problem. Here, press Add. It says that here we have double cells, so just delete that. Delete this one and choose it again. Okay, click Add here. Now let's add our conditions. Now, first one, first condition, it says that the total here, if you notice here, the total amount, it should be equal to each customer's orders, right? So here, the total, this one, the total orders for the customer, it should be equal to customer orders. Okay. Now click OK or add. Let's add another one. Another condition that from warehouse, the total orders from warehouse one, two, or three, or four, it should be equal or less than the available stock. So here, the total here, it should be less or equal the available stock. Okay, let's add another one. Now, I don't need any decimals. So here I need a whole number, no 10,000 and a half. The item will not be separated or splitted. I need a total amount or a whole piece. So let's change, let's, let's choose the array here, the values here, and I need it as an integer. Okay. Now we have three condition that the total amount of the orders is equal to this one. And the numbers here is an integer. And the total for orders is less or equal than the available stock. We have our uh, conditions here. Now let's click solve and wait a second. Now we got our result here that the customer one has 15,000 items all from warehouse one and customer two has 32,000 from warehouse two while customer three I didn't ship to customer three any of his items 75 and instead I shipped 10,000 from two 50,000 from three, 14,000 items from warehouse four. The total will be 75, that equal to his orders. Okay, and same for customer four, the whole from warehouse one. Warehouse, uh, customer five, 55 from warehouse four. And also the same way for customer six, 2,000 from one, 44 from warehouse two. Now this is our best solution. We get the minimum cost with 905 $450 dollars. This is the minimum cost and best solution that I can get from our result. Now to 
practice more for the solver. Let's take another example for this one, which is the magical square. Let's open a new one, a new sheet here. And if you know this, we have the magical square here. And okay, just that. Okay, the magic square says, says that each column here, each column has a value. It should be equal to this one, to the total. So the total amount for each column will be equal. The total amount for each row will be equal. So for example, here is 20, should be 20. Here again, 20. Also here should be 20. And the same for the cross. From here, this one plus this one plus this cell, it should be 20 and so on. So to solve that, let's select our array here and again go to data ribbon and click solve. Now, before we try our solve parameters, we need to set our equation. So here, I need to make sum for this one. Okay. And also for the columns. And also for the cross. So this one is equal to this cell plus this plus this and oh, same for this plus this plus this okay now again let's select it go to data ribbon and click solver here now our target is here this one this is our target Okay, let's select our array here and go back to data and then click solve. Now here we have the target, the target cell here. That depends, you can choose anyone in this array. Now I need the minimum amount here by changing this array or this table or these cells. Okay, now let's define our conditions, click add. Now here, let's add our conditions. In the magic square, I need all these, the total should be equal to the same number. All these rows should be equal to the same number. So for example, here, I, let's choose this one, the cell reference here, that should be equal, let's say that equal to 15. Okay, let's add another condition. Same for the total for the column, this one, it should be equal to 15. And another condition here that I need each number in this table is not repeated, not duplicated. So it's a unique number. So again, let's select the cells here and make it all difference, all different here that each number will not be repeated. I'll add another condition and each number, there is no decimal. I need a whole number. So no 9.5, no 3.25. I need a whole number. So let's select the uh, the cells and here make it as an integer. Okay. Now let's press solve and wait four seconds. Okay, now we get our result here. Notice that we have the total amount for the columns. 15 here equal to the 15 for the each columns same for the rows same for the cross 6 5 and 4 2 5 and 8 that we get our result in each column row and the cross lines that's it uh, hope you are, are following up this solver function it's helpful try it for your business make sure to subscribe for this channel and share it with your friends Thank you for watching.